Uh, today is Friday, October 21st, 2022. Um, I'm thinking to myself right now, yesterday's events were, I mean, this morning I walked my son to school. And when you walk, when I walk by or up to the school to drop him off, it says work in process, government, right on some of the construction. Um, and the school is shrouded in black. Um, I'm not quite sure symbolically what it means, but I know my son is whatever he is. Um, And so there's that. Now, when he had forgotten um, his classwork, so I went into the school the other night uh, after school, and um, I sat on a bench in the foyer, uh, vestibule, the main hall of like when you walk in, uh, where the bell from West Shore that, that says on the metallurgy. West Troy that I took a photo of. I sat on this bench. The security guard was there. And I looked up and I'm looking around the entire perimeter. And they have these small, they're not regulation size flags, but they're small patterns that hang. And I look around and there are so few that I could name upon first glance. I have no names for the states or countries for which they represent. I don't know the people. I don't even know any context on them. But yet they're hanging in the foyer as like a representation like that they exist, even though they're in some area under in the covered in the great beyond great beyond whatever's in this here and now so i asked the security guard i've said you've sat here for so many years you're in this particular seat i was like so have you studied all of these patterns do you have a name for all of them and he was just like he goes yeah 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 i know most of them and i'm like oh i'm like as i sit here and i look about and I know where I've been. I haven't learned even a portion of what any of these are. I don't know where they come from. I don't know what they're a part of. I don't know why they're represented in this building. I'm, it's really, I realize just how little I know or whatever from the time I've spent here. Um, so that was an eye-opening effect. Somebody last year was kind enough to, um, incorporate the teaching of a game called chess, C-H-E-S-S. -S. I don't know chess personally. I was never taught chess. I don't know if it's one of those games that the men and the boys are to learn, um, in respectable manners before they take wives. I'm not sure, but somebody was kind enough to make sure that my son knew how to play chess. Last night, one of the mothers, um, my son after the park wanted um, to know if the boys wanted to play soccer after homework. And they said that there was chess at the library, which I also did not know. So um, it was like an awkward, invitation like I didn't know if like it was like special like I was like oh, I don't know if I whatever so we kind of I guess invited ourselves along and so um so my son went and he actually knew how to play I had no idea but I sat there anyway um and because again he doesn't go anywhere by himself, um, not in these 
whatever with whatever's going on with whatever I've already had to experience. So, um, I know what was in that library. They know what was in that library. And it's very different than some of the television versions of New York. And I'm not saying anything more because it's whatever and whatever, whatever, whatever. But there's a lot going on in New York. And at times it feels like under this, again, yesterday, um, this actor who goes by the call sign The Rock, who was a wrestler at one point and then turned actor, um, he came out with something called Black Adams as a superhero movie. It seems to be in competition for some reason with the DC Marvel characters. Um, but again, symbolically, they've been doing this a lot. It feels like they've opened some kind of adoption agency rather than an abortion clinic as far as operations go. I don't know if oligarchs are aware of just how messy operations look like from inside the field. I mean, just as an independent who's been hurt a lot in the field, and I don't know who's safe, whose hand to hold, and who to report on, quite frankly, but it looks really dirty. So, um, this morning, like they've, I mean, I've, I've had a spot cause Alexander, uh, mentioned this, uh, superstar named Brady who, who shares Alexander and my birthday. Um, so he's with something called an NFL. So he, I have not seen him ever mentioned on this news. And then all of a sudden he started appearing more. And I'm like, now, um, I don't know their other characters on their foot field. Their shoes. This Lachure Zapatos Scarpe. Seem to, in an S-H-O-E-S, seem to be opening lines and brands and all sorts of stuff from some marketing capability, which also seems very messy and dirty. And dangerous, especially since um, what they've done with paying through the nose and all sorts of night creepy crawlers and slashers and things inside people's homes that were supposed to be safe. Um, so I'm looking and there's something called this morning, they put up a commercial for something called an Edelman. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. As a 1952 reference for PR, not PC. So, at Special Task Force Mark. And then I'm thinking to myself, in my house, it was always Hoover. Hoover was the vacuum that cleaned up. Not that Linda used of Hoover. But growing up, Grandma, the name that the house used was Hoover is the, the cleanup and the whatever. It's a Hoover vacuum. I never even heard of this Kirby character until the Black Smith, Black Adams, Tia Frio 1975 showed up. Then all of a sudden Kirby, his father was a door-to-door -door Kirby salesman. I'm like, hmm. Right, yeah, these could be really interesting key points for... I heard one of the um, people in the um, library last night. I don't know chess. I don't know strategy games. I don't know any of that stuff. The rooms that I've been held within don't speak of such things. Um, and the video games, again, they're not I'd like there was a Nintendo which I hear was a de Filippo. Um that was one of our family names according to um Ziada and Lewis. But um that was not strategy. That was simple Mario and Luigi 
were to rescue the Princess Peach from Bowser in the castle. That was it. Simple. And then I think there was something called the Simon's Quest, but that led to nowhere. Um, the game just failed in the middle of the whatever, and the cartridge could never get past it in the house. I don't know why. So this morning they have something called, I, I didn't know, I, I heard there's a quarterback that made sense with the monetary currency and national security messaging for legal tender in whatever, that why are the quarterbacks changing? Um, but then this morning there's something called an Edelman. I had to look it up. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know if he was a quarterback. I'm like, why are non-quarterbacks speaking? I thought that they have a NSA importance in one of the monetary pieces. It's called a quarter. Um, but anyhow, so he's something called a wide receiver. And he's very... But... Um, familial, we'll call it. Or... It, it would appear so. I mean, it's hard to tell. I, whatever. Um, so, but he has a position on the field. I thought at first he was a quarterback because he was allowed to speak, but on commercial. But apparently he's something called a wide receiver. I have no idea what that means. But then if I'm thinking of the telephone company, is that like long distance? Is that like regional long distance, a wide receiver? Like a telephone receiver um, at Baby Bell and like Thomas Edison's ancestry kind of a thing without attaching like sore loser, whatever. Um, so I thought that, that was interesting. And then they had this like weird message from Brady last night on the thing. Like, there was a rumor going around as he retiring mid-season. Um, and then the volleyball-named kid from the movie Castaway came on, Wilson. And I'm like, and he's on some other thing called a Jets, which is a color schematic that frightens me with chemical weaponry. And I'm just like, hmm, what is that about? He's asking for more ball time. And I'm just like, ay, ay, ay. And what are they doing? Um, so this is the commercial with the phone company called Verizon, which has a red check on it. It's E210 this morning. Two things that you dropping, balls and calls. Well, you need a better network. Time to switch to Verizon. Oh, wait. Colleges? I want what's best. Best for our skin. With one quarter moisturizing cream, Dove is the number one bar dermatologist use at home. <sighs> Jeez. Ironic. Edelman struggling with reception. Two things that you dropping, balls and calls. Wait. And now what's interesting is his, he doesn't have a number on him, but it says Patriots. When I looked it up, they had a picture of what I, I don't know if it's him because he had a helmet on. I think he said 10. I don't know. So, um, but then that goes back to now Liz Trust, not King's Post Trust, worked at a place called 10... Downing yesterday, I think the football kids in National Football League, but it's American football, 1776, since I have a 1976 problem uh, in the men's department. Um, yesterday, they had something up there, and it, like, again, King's Post Truss is one thing. But it looks like in my area, they open more, like I said, adoption agencies 
of, I don't know, unbeknownst arrivals rather than neat and tidy standards that make sense and are safe for the children that are here, that are part of the Last Supper with ancestry to other kingdom reps, perhaps, and then players on the field here. And I'm looking and I'm like, hmm. And yesterday she, she, she said she was a fighter and then she decided she wasn't. And then they had up this parody of her and this let us L E T. And I'm like, is that a U.S. like reference? Let us, uh, at UCE. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, no, is that posing as a question with so-and-so and the who's who, or it is what it is. Like, it's just, I'm a little, I don't know, lost in the field, perhaps. But you need a better network. Time to switch to Verizon, the most reliable 5G network in America. I'm listening. You even get a free 5G phone on them. Sweet. So now, whether you're in the city or on the road. Reception. And getting the network you want and a brand new phone. Touchdown! Switch now and get the new Google Pixel 7 Pro on us. Only on the network America relies on. Verizon. I don't know what that's all about. I don't even know what they use this Verizon word for. Um, yeah, this was interesting because, again, like, I don't know if the adoption agency and requirements... Like, it seems to be a spreading and growing problem, not just with the UK's islands, but now I'm on an island closer to North America, continental, and it gets really confusing as to, now, whose adoption agency are, are they using when running national security to make sure the Americans are safe in plain English, not their fanciful, melodic English that they use elsewhere. I mean, like, this gets confused. Like, who do you even ask? Tried to cling on to power just yesterday, saying this. I am a fighter and not a fighter. But it was a losing battle. With inflation in the UK rising 20% faster than the US, Trust cut taxes for some of the wealthiest, hoping to stimulate the economy. But the timing couldn't be worse. Her plan sent markets into meltdown. The pound crashed and mortgage rates exploded, adding hundreds of dollars to household bills overnight. Why is she still here? Yeah. The British tabloid even poked fun at the embattled Prime Minister with a live stream asking, will this truss outlast this head of lettuce? <laughs> Today, President Biden, who was among those critical of our tax policy, reacted to the news. Well, look, she was a good partner on Russia and Ukraine, and, uh, and the British are going to solve their problem. The Conservative Party, in chaos, must now elect a new leader. And among the contenders... Like, again, I don't... We don't... I like... There's a filter that this information comes through sometimes, kind of, sort of, but not really. But there's no, like, solid base of even... understanding how their, their side works or how it could affect us at this, I mean, again, taxation without representation means so much more when you're trying to go to the doctors and the doctors look like they're trying to prolong diagnosing you so they don't have to fix you, so you actually wind up with worse medical effects at the hands of whatever can be controlled in the field of science. And that's really frightening, is how far is their reach? It looks like boundless. And like, that is really frightening in this, is it democracy? Is it a republic? Is it a far-reaching king? 
Is it some other word we haven't been taught? It's really difficult when the participation is so behind the scenes and none of it is really up front. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterosa. It's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way Universe, Galaxy is Broken. And it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Roman 361.